With an FC TV here with Adam Hinchelwood uh, looking ahead to our Vanarama National League South match against St Albans at the weekend. Hinch, what are your thoughts heading into this one? Um, yeah, don't know uh, what to expect with our team at the moment. Um, we could turn up and blow them away or you know, we could be in for a tough afternoon. Um, it's just how it is at the moment and that's been saying, drumming on like in these interviews on Thursdays really about it's important to try and find some consistency to our play and our performance. Um, you know, 50 minutes, 55 minutes, excellent on, on Tuesday night, away away from home, played brilliant football, um, some great chances, didn't take it, and then, you know, in, in quick succession, um, goal, 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 and it's by our making, really. So, yeah, we'll look at that, see how we can put that right, and, yeah, try and put it right tonight and, and take that into Saturday for Kill. Just to draw a line under that disappointment at Western in midweek, obviously you, you, you voiced your frustration after the game, uh, speaking to Hayden afterwards. What changes and what learnings have you learnt from that game and looking to put right ahead of this weekend? Well, yeah, I just think uh, honest, honest chat with the players, really. Um, you know, this one, one blip we've been in relatively, we did find a bit of consistency, I thought, um, to our game and our play, and we were starting to get some results. Um, but yeah, it just sort of seems to come out of nowhere, these sort of like blips, and they're quite heavy ones when they do happen. So, yeah, we, we've, we've got to learn um, about our men mentality and our mindset for our games. Um, you know, we can't have us going 1 0 down, we can't have us, um, you know, conceding as many goals as that. And you're almost at the game when it goes 1 2 3 as quickly as what it did, or at least 2 0 away from home. and. You know, I'm always one to try to change it to try and get us back in the game. So I think you know that'd be the key thing. I think like, I've got to take the responsibility uh, at two 0 um, It was it was bad defending for the first one, and we, we'll highlight that and we'll work on that. Um, which you know, it's my job to do that. Um, the second one's a, a poor a poor decision, or it's it's soft, it's soft, and you know, Ruben's got to probably deal with that one a little bit better. Um, and then from then, like the third and fourth, you know, I've got to take responsibility. Uh, I think I've tried to change it and go to a three-five-two, get two players up top. And um, I don't think I put the instructions out there when the players went out to the right people to um, what it looked like out of position. And I think that showed we was a bit all over the place. Um, so you know, I've got, I've got to learn from that. Uh, take responsibility and. Um, you know, that's, that's my job to, to do that and um, yeah, we've got to try and put it right for Saturday. Looking at the team then for Saturday, you spoke on Tuesday that there might be changes. Uh, obviously you've got Nicky and Jake close to a return, what's the latest on that? Yeah, we'll, we'll obviously see tonight, but hoping they'll both be available for the squad. Kane's back from work, I'm hoping he's um, yeah, just getting in now. Um, so, uh, you know, three, three big players, big characters, a um, lot of experience at this level coming back into the squad. and. You know, hopefully that's going to help us out a lot. Um, yeah, other than that, I think Jesse's still going to be struggling. Um, it's probably going to be a couple of weeks, Jess, with his calf, which is a which is a blow. Um, but yeah, uh, what it does do it gives players opportunities, doesn't it? When when players are injured, and uh, it's down to those players um, to step up to the plate and take those opportunities. And just on a personal note as well, you must be thrilled after last night, Jack Inchelwood scoring his first goal for Brighton. Um, yeah, just a few comments on that. Oh, yeah. Indeed, I'm sure. yeah, definitely. It's you know what a roller coaster of emotions football gives you. Um, you know, absolutely, you, you can't sleep for one reason on Tuesday night because of how bad your team was and um, trying to put your finger on on where it went wrong and how you can improve. And then you know the next night you you can't sleep for the adrenaline and the buzz that you got for your son scoring in the Premier League. So yeah, I'm you know, delighted for for him and. Um, all his hard work and like we're talking about their players getting opportunities and taking them and you know he's been given an opportunity and you know in the last two weeks it's been a real roller coaster for him but fair play to him you've got to deliver on the pitch and he seems to have done that and you know that would be something that you know our players have got to look at and that's how it's, yeah football's a mad game in terms of yeah like your, your ups and downs that you can have um, and hoping to experience um, some highs with, with Worthing come Saturday.